All right, next ingredient is a uh, light seasoning of garlic salt. Not much, don't want to kill it because we put, I don't even know why I put that in. I forgot I put garlic. Hello everybody out there. It's a great video today. We're gonna make you. <laughs> Good day everybody. Frank's Morning Foods. <laughs> it's an intro. I know. I have to say hi, it's not your eating beef. <laughs> hey everybody. This is a family favorite restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna love it. You're gonna wanna buy it and try it. But you don't have to buy it and try it because you can get the recipe right here at Frank's Fine Foods. Today I'm gonna make a fantastic family favorite. It's called Meatball stroganoff. Vermicelli noodles, a half out. Into the rolling boiling water it goes. Okay. Remove from heat. I'm gonna give you the ingredients first. I'll have a picture. This is a kind of recipe actually that requires a little bit of prep and a little bit of uh, work to get it all put together. But in the end, it's worth it. And uh, I don't do much measuring, uh, exact measurements. It's more or less eyeballed according to taste and uh, your preference. Okay, for this recipe, we have uh, quite a few little ingredients to put together to make one. Uh, we got a pound of uh, lean ground beef and a pound of uh, ground pork. We're gonna need to uh, make our meatballs with that. In that, we're going to put Dijon mustard, we're gonna put barbecue sauce, any flavor will do. A little bit of soy sauce, this is gluten free. Uh, Worcestershire sauce, some minced garlic, some Parmesan cheese, Italian seasoning, salt. We're gonna need some pepper here, some ground pepper, and uh, some cornflake uh, crumbs or bread crumbs. This is supposed to be gluten free, but read the ingredients, please. I'm gonna make the meatballs with all these items. Also, we're gonna throw in some onions and some egg and blend that all together. Don't over mix it, okay? And then we're going to roll our meatballs and roll them in a light flour dusting. And then fry them up in a frying pan and brown them. And we'll continue from there to make the sauce. The sauce is going to consist of one can of Campbell's mushroom soup, some beef broth, some mushrooms, some uh, wine that I have on hand. Any wine will do, whatever your favorite wine is. You can just throw a bit in there for flavoring, and that's also optional, and some sour cream. So let me do some prep here, and uh, we'll get it all together, and... Uh, I'll show you quickly how the spicing and all that goes once I've got the meatballs and onions and all that mixed up. So the diced onions go into the ground beef and pork mixture. So we've got our ground beef, we've got our ground pork, and we've got one large onion diced nice and small like that. Okay, we're going to add an egg. All right. Take our Dijon mustard. Give it a shake. Like I said, nothing gets measured in this recipe. It's just basically eyeballing it. Okay, Dijon mustard. Just a little squirt or two. There you go. That's all you need. Just a little bit for flavoring. You can also use ketchup if you don't have barbecue sauce. Just a bit. Next we have a little bit of soy sauce. Not much. Just a taster of it. You know, a tablespoon, teaspoon, tablespoon, something like that. Same thing with the Lee and Perrins, Worcestershire, just a couple splashes of that. Let's throw a healthy teaspoon of garlic in there. Oh, that's a big chunk. There we go, a healthy teaspoon. Okay, we need a tablespoon or two of uh, Parmesan cheese. Okay, we got some Italian seasoning here, just... Uh, Take it like that, okay? Maybe that much would be good. And run it through your fingers. 
And as it loosens up the flavor, it, it reactivates some of the spices, eh? So anyways, a pinch or two of that. All right, next ingredient is a uh, light seasoning of garlic salt. Not much. Don't want to kill it because we put, I don't even know why I put that in. I forgot I put garlic. Okay, I'm going to throw one more egg in this because my eggs are kind of small for some reason. I thought they were large, but I think they're small or medium maybe. So there's two eggs in that case. All right. Add some cornflake crumbs. Uh, we'll try that for now. All this gets mixed together. And then you try your consistency for meatballs. If it needs more breadcrumbs, put more. You want them to be able to roll up and stay firm. Not firm, but, you know, not falling apart. Okay, so I'm going to get my hands messy here, and uh, we'll get back to you in a, in a second. Okay, so this is mixed up. As you can see, it still looks a little bit moist. The more you play with that meat, the more the fat fibers in the pork are going to end up softening up and it's going to eventually get even more firm. But you don't want to overkill the mixing process. So in this case, I'm going to add a bit more breadcrumbs. Just another light dusting here and add that in. And this should make it dry enough that the meatballs will stay together without having to destroy the meat and making it too tough when baked. The more you mix it, the harder the meatballs are gonna end up being to uh, chew into. So, because this is uh, your main source of protein, basically we're going to roll a, a meatball that is about that size. Okay, that's about the size of the meatballs we want to have because they're going to simmer in the liquid for about 20 minutes as well after we fry them. All right, what we have here now is our meatballs that we've rolled up and I've decided only to use half the meat mixture and I've got a surprise for you today. What are you going to do with the rest of the meat? We're going to roll it into a meatloaf. You've got a nice Italian style meatloaf here ready to go in the oven. I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees. I'm going to throw it in and you can use that for school snack, lunch sandwiches, whatever you want to do. Maybe tomorrow night's dinner as well. That'll cook for roughly 45 minutes to an hour. You can uh, use a thermometer, make sure uh, when it's inserted you're hitting at least 165, 170 degrees and it's ready or cut it in half and just see what it looks like in the middle if it's done enough or not. Anyhow, uh, you could also put a can of tomato soup on top of that uh, three quarters of the way through the cooking process and that'll make a nice gravy for you as well. The meatballs have been rolled in the uh, flour after I rolled them and now we're going to add some olive oil to the pot that I've been warming up right now. Just a bit of olive oil. I also put a bit of canola oil because it has a higher heating temperature. And now we're going to throw the meatballs in there and we're going to brown them all around. Gently slide those babies in. And let them cook a little bit. Oh, that's hot. At this point, we're going to remove the meatballs with the pan drippings that are at the bottom. I'm going to add the flour. That was the leftover flour from coating the meatballs. I'm going to add the butter. Stir it until it becomes like a paste and a slow boil type of thing. This is called roux. It's going to thicken up the sauce. We're going to add the beef broth at that stage. Can 
tenuously stirring to blend all the flour and uh, at that stage you can add the wine the mushrooms stir it all together then add the meatballs Okay, so you've got your meatballs, your mushrooms, and your sauce going here. You're going to bring it to a simmer, and you're going to cover it, and let it go for about 20-25 minutes. Okay, I just wanted to remind you, uh, while this is simmering away, occasionally you will have to take the lid off and stir it. As you can see, it is starting to thicken up nicely here. You have a nice gravy going. And the meatballs, of course, are being cooked uh, all the way through. And at the last stage, we're going to add about a quarter cup to half a cup of sour cream. But we don't want that to be boiling at that stage. We just want to add it at the very last couple seconds and blend the flavors. And uh, then we'll uh, throw some of our noodles in and mix it all up and it should be ready to serve. Okay, so uh, this has been cooking for 20 minutes, simmering with the lid on, stirred uh, occasionally, take the lid off. Let's put uh, one, two, three good dollops of uh, sour cream. Ah, a little bit more, four. And mix that in. Doesn't that look tasty? Do not let this boil. Just let it uh, blend the flavors now. Yeah, let's turn it off as far as that's concerned. Then we have our noodles here. I've uh, pre-cooked these, remember? Drained them. And they're al dente. I've uh, cut them in quarter here, across and both ways sort of thing just to make the noodles a bit smaller manageable and let's put one handful for each serving so there's 16 meatballs let's assume we're going to feed four people here so i'll put five handfuls we don't need all that noodles because that'll be too much okay so we're going to blend this all together we've turned the heat off Look at that. We're going to let that soak up all the flavors, put the lid on it, and let it sit for about five minutes. Season to taste with salt and pepper, and serve. Four meatballs to a plate is good for four servings, and three meatballs to a plate will serve five. Look at that, eh? Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Turn your notifications on for future videos. Thank you. Have a great day.